Welcome to this tutorial on how to do fringe with your embroidery machine. I'm going to be demonstrating this with the Darling Snowman block from Kimberbell's Cup of Cheer quilt. You can also find the detailed step-by-step -step instructions on page 32 of the book. Let's first take a look at where this fringe is out on the block and why you're going to find this little extra detail just so charming. As you can see, we have the fringe here at the top of his hat, as well as the tassels of his scarf. The technique of doing fringe may sound a little scary, but trust me, it's one of the most fun and easiest techniques there is. And the digitizers at Kimberbell will always make sure it's as cute as can be. You can do this technique with one of two ways, either with a water-soluble bobbin or even with your normal weight bobbin thread. Either way works, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do today. My snowman block here has been appliqued up to the point of needing to do the fringe steps. If you are following along with the Cup of Cheer book, I'm on page 32 and have just finished step eight on my machine. Notice how it now says to change the bobbin thread to a visible color or water soluble thread. Now, why would you do that? Well, simply because the technique of doing fringe on your border machine actually has you cut your bobbin threads after stitching. What? That sounds strange, doesn't it? No worries. As I like to say, trust the process and stay with me here as I show you how cool this really is. Okay, so now you're trusting the process. You're with me. And in this first case, while I don't have a water soluble bobbin thread, I'm going to use a visible color. Since I'm using a white thread in my bobbin for the rest of the design, I'm going to change my bobbin thread to black. After this fringe area has stitched out, I want to be able to see where I need to cut. So a high contrast thread like black thread will be just perfect. If you're wondering about water soluble bobbin thread, well, we're going to talk about that here in a minute. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first fringe stitch out. If you're following along in the book, I'm on page 32, step nine. You're going to notice that the stitches are longer in length. Once that's done, I'm going to stitch my next set of fringe stitches, which are at the scarf. I want these stitches to be white, so I'm gonna change my thread and stitch. Remember, if I still have my high contrast thread, which is black in this case, in the bobbin, that's exactly what I want. I wanna keep it there. But after I'm done doing the long stitches, it's time to change the bobbin back to a regular bobbin. This is going to be a critical step if you decided to use water soluble bobbin thread and you're going to see why at the end of the stitch out. Now go ahead and finish the rest of your snowman and you'll see that those long fringe stitches, they're going to be tacked down with the rest of the stitch out that follows. Now that you have your regular bobbin back in, you're good to finish out the rest of the stitch out. Now here comes the fun part. You can take your project out of the hoop and turn it to the back. Use your flexi snips or a seam ripper to carefully clip the black bobbin thread only. Remember, that's why we use black in the bobbin, so that we could see it easier. Be careful not to trim any of the stitches that was part of the satin outline or the filled scarf stitches. Those are the ones that hold everything in place. Again, only trim where there is black thread in this case. Turn your project to the front and then carefully lift up those satin stitches to form the fringe. Now, how fun was that? Now, if you used water soluble bobbin thread, your next steps are easy peasy. <laughs> Simply spray the stitches with a little bit of water, turn your project to the front, and then lift the threads up to form the fringe. Using water soluble bobbin thread makes it as simple as it gets. My only warning in blaring flashing lights is this. <laughs> Please don't forget to change your bobbin thread back to the normal thread after stitching those fringe areas. I'm sure you can imagine the result. <laughs> Have fun.